Good Tuesday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. This is your outlook for Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2013, and Christmas Day, December 25th, 2013. This is going to be a two-day video uh, covering the weather for the next couple of days here. And uh, the video will resume again on Thursday morning after the holiday so that our families can spend time with, uh, or we can spend time with our families, uh, the forecasters of Eastern PA Weather Authority. So Merry Christmas to all of you. And I uh, hope everything uh, is uh, brings you great joy with your family this and have a great holiday season. Uh, we're going to go with the uh, Nam High Res for today because we do have some snowflakes that will be flying this afternoon. We think, uh, especially for areas in central and northern areas uh, across East Central PA, Northeast PA, Northern New Jersey. We actually sent out text alerts yesterday uh, for this possibility, and uh, in some places it'll just be flurries further south. I do think that you'll get into uh, one of these convective bands that will come across. A lot of it's stability will across this area here, and it won't take much for one of these bands to come through. Just a quick burst of snow uh, that can whiten the ground in some places, especially across northeastern PA, northern New Jersey. But uh, we did extend that down to the eastern counties of, of uh, east central PA, uh, Schuylkill, Berks, Lehigh, Northampton as well, uh, because we think one of these bands that uh, can come through later on this afternoon, <coughs> excuse me, can uh, uh, definitely come down uh, really quickly in a hurry. So not expecting a lot of accumulation from this. This is just an in-and-out deal and no big deal. But you can see what the Nam High Res is doing is uh, this is 1 o'clock in the afternoon on Christmas Eve. Uh, you can see the stuff up here, here, nothing really starting to get going here. Uh, then you have a band that's coming across here. Across all central counties of East Central PA, and then uh, as it moves further east here, uh, you can see that uh, you know that ends up over Eastern PA here you know, around mid the middle of the afternoon, and uh, you have one of these uh, heavier bands across North Northeastern PA that makes it across into Northern New Jersey, and that's toward the evening hour. So it's going to be a, a quick hitter in and out, and then as the sun goes down you lose the convective van potential. So it just dries out, everything gets clear, and it's no big deal. Going to the GFS, we have, uh, this does show that as well. Again, just very light here, not not a big deal, but uh, it just it might be enough to set the, the fe festive atmosphere, if you, if you will. And uh, actually, the GFS for the rest of the period here stays cold, and, uh, and at times it'll moderate a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, cold and dry here. We're going to be watching a little quick moving system here. <coughs> It's going to be a little cold this morning, excuse me. The uh, th On Thursday morning here, we have, might have a quick uh, quick snow shower as this uh, this moves through here. And, uh, and again, not a big deal. Uh, and then uh, the rest of the week is pretty much a zonal flow, which we get to Saturday and Sunday. The temperatures are going to moderate a little bit and make it up to uh, the 40s for a couple days. And then I think it goes right back down again uh, in temperature-wise as another frontal binder moves through uh, late Sunday. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be this up and down uh, teetering between in and around normal temperature for this time of year, but sometimes it'll go below normal for a couple days. Then it'll be near normal. Then it'll be above slightly. Then it'll go back down again. It's just going to be a big teetering uh, uh, back and forth. But you can see this is through 192 hours. There's absolutely nothing to talk about as far as uh, big storms. We have to go out to the extended range here. Here's the GFS for January 3rd, showing a big, big storm potential here. And uh, this is this is quite a ways away. We are we are watching a signal for this time frame, some very favorable signals for for a storm, somewhere between the third or fourth up until about the seventh. I think we're going to be dealing with a big, a bigger storm in that time frame, and that's going to be the next period where we're really watching with uh, anticipation for something to develop. GFS is hinting at something a little bit earlier on the third, but the GFS likes to bring things in a little bit a little bit quicker, uh, and it's outside of the European models range, so we're going to be watching it right now. But don't expect anything in the next. Uh, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten days, something like that, until uh, we get just beyond that range. As soon as we get after New Year's, uh, we might have some blocking starting to set up. We might have uh, some ridging out west and troughiness in the east, and that could spell some big storms here in the east. But we're not going to jump ahead of ourselves yet, but that's what we're looking at for the next time frame for something to happen. Again, I uh, ha hope everybody has a very Merry Christmas and happy holidays wherever you are. Uh, make sure you uh, spend it with your families and have a great time with them. Uh, that's what it's, the season's all about. Uh, we video will resume again on Thursday morning. Again, re uh, respect for the holiday, and uh, we'll be back at that time. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for Christmas Eve, December 24th, 2013, and Christmas Day, December 25th, 2013. Have a great holiday.